Hey, welcome back to the Metropolitan Grid. My name is Andre. Thanks so much for dropping by. It's Thursday. Thursday. Wow. No, that's so wrong. It's April the 9th of... 9th of April. Oh, I did a good job of that. Uh, good luck. Have fun. Thanks, you too. Uh, we're playing the casual lobby Sunday afternoon, and we're trying just Geist decks because I love Geist, and we haven't been playing Geist in a long time. This hand's not terrible. Like, getting a, an early uh, tech writer's great. Corroder's fine. Getting an early political operative is meaningful against Hasviroid because you can deal with a lot of things. Uh... Eh, we can do better. I don't remember this deck that well. Let me check real quick what's in it. I'm not going to move the camera because we're going to be that quick. We play Mad Dash instead of Freedom Through Equality, but we want to open with an off-campus apartment, and that's basically all the money we have in this deck. We're not running Temujin. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's better. That's better. So, and they're off, and they're playing Lateral Growth. Makes me think more often that they might be running um things like... Oh, that's great. Uh, running things like... What are we running? Are we running Scrubber? But things like Jeeves, because it's an operation, it's easy to weave in there. We're not running any Acid Hate, and that's... This deck used to be what I played a season ago, when Acid Spam wasn't a thing. It wasn't that big of a thing. We got a Spy Camera on here, and that's probably what it's going to be. We can use this Spy Camera to see the top card and maybe run it. It also gains us a credit, draws a card, which is really good. And knowing the top card of R&D is just great, and it's a vanilla, so the more you know, huh? This could be an Adonis, and we can't really afford to trash it. Or we could pop this for a spy camera, gain a credit, pop that for... Nah, it's, we can, they can have it. And no, we have an answer to Vanilla and the Corroder, which is pretty great. We might actually want the face check, and that is a Jeeves, so we did call it right, and they're going to Biotic out something. They can Biotic out a 4 or 2, which is really good, but they're also not respecting the source. Let's see if they wait. We'll say all good. They also didn't respect... Uh, you technically have to respect Councilman under Street Peddler, but they didn't. They just went for it. What the f Oh! Well, we know what that is. That's a vanilla. Did we just get a free agenda? That was surprisingly easy. Well, anyways, let's see what's on top of R&D. So let's pull out the spy camera. There's nothing for zero besides a vanilla. Oh, well, we did the ordering well here because we have this down. So let's look at the top card of R&D. Biotic Labor, good to know. This is not a connection, so we can't put on the off-campus apartment. This deck has a lot of, like, things to it. So we'll put this down. We'll put this down, getting credit on there. We'll run server 2. The res the vanilla. No reason not to. We'll get in. If this is a trap, we'll look dumb. But they probably... There's no trap that fires at zero besides Ghost Branch, right? So they got the corporate sales team. Wait, why didn't they just... Oh, they were short of credit. Oh, they just goofed the math. Wait, how do they do that? Wait, what? How? How's that possible? How do they install a card and not have a credit? How's that possible? Wait, I'm confused. I'm confused. Did you not get your ETF money? Because, like, how can you end your turn installing a card and not having a credit? That doesn't make sense. Sorry to drag this down. If this is not like a thing, we'll cut it out of the video. But they biotic labored. Oh, they installed agenda. Oh, agenda. Huh. Got it. Yeah. E rough. Yeah. Noticed. Fuck. Shit. Okay, well, that's pretty rough for them. Um, we know what's on top of R and D, right? Oh, I forgot in the confusion. What was it? Uh a oh, biotic labor, yeah, it's nailed it. Um, so I think this is probably the best way to go because we can put our film critic on there and go off and off. So they goofed by one credit. That's really unfortunate. Um, it was that's pretty big deal. It's a pretty big deal for them. And now they have four credits. We can also check HQ now based on how aggressively they. Uh, oh, if this is a rotor turret. It sucks for us. If we put the shiv down, that's good. Oh, architect also would suck for us. Yeah. So the shiv is fine. The shiv can't do it. Now we're in no rush. This deck is better later game. So install this, get a free card draw. That's good. Install this, get a free card draw. We pop it, we get three credits and free card draw, and then we'll put this down and we're set up and we'll be good to go. We need to trash this probably as soon as possible. They have another biotic in hand. So with four, five, six, seven credits, they can fast events out of four, two. And we can't let them do that. Don't know what that is. Reckon we ought to check. I reckon we can just use this. I don't think we need to use this for the source or anything. Actually, for the source, it's pretty good. 
Uh, no, we probably need to set up faster. Mongoose is good too. It's kind of what we needed. Uh, let's keep drawing up. Let's get some more connections. Inside job is pretty great. Checking this seems not that good. I doubt it's an agenda. They know we can get into it, but maybe they know we're setting up. I'm not entirely sure how to read this. This one's useless. These two are pretty good, but I don't want to actually show that we have this too soon. That's fantastic because now they have to block there. And I think we're better off just installing these two because they're tempo based and cheaper than putting down the mongoose because they're unlikely to get two pieces of ice on the server. And as long as we can get just a three strength, we can break um, a lot of things and they're doing it. They're going for it. Maybe we should run HQ, and that's probably the good 4 2 that they wanted. If that's an efficiency committee, they're in a really good spot. But it's just a Vitruvius with a token, which is also really good. Just taking a look at the top of RD. Saves us a click, gives us information and credits. That's a global food. That's lovely. This could be a Jackson Howard. It's probably one of the best things it could be. I guess we'll run anyways. So that's two more points for us. And we'll keep rolling. Keep rolling with this engine. It's a really good engine, like just about everything we do draws a card. Oh, sequencing. I forgot, Aaron wasn't out when this deck started and we just added him recently. Um, so that's good for us. Still don't know what this is. They didn't res it or do anything meaningful with it. And I think we can check HQ next turn. It's unlikely that they have an agenda, but let's just put this down. So in theory, we can break this for free, gaining a credit and a card. It also puts two credits on these and assembly lines. So we know this is an agenda, so we don't have to deal with that. It's a Jackson. Oh, fuck. Oh, man. if we Maybe we didn't wait long enough, because they could have like assembly lined the Jackson to shuffle up this thing. We have to deal with the Jackson 100% before we like keep going off with the, the thing. And I think they'll let us actually trash the Jackson just because they have the Vitruvius counter, and that's obviously like not great. Maybe we run HQ here just so they spend money. Yeah. Yeah, we can click through most things that are problematic, but they also can't res much at four credits. Like Fairchild 3.0 is the worst. ETF should fire there, right? Yeah, yeah. You did the AAL a bit too late. It's all good, though. Cool. So I think we'll run HQ. They have six. Even if they spend six on this, that's fine. We can break most low strength, like we can break Architect, drawing a credit and a card. Yeah, it's fine. We don't know any of these cards, I don't think? Cortex Lock. Fuck off, really? Oh shit, look at that. Fire. That only does one. Lost our Peacock, that's a big deal, because that's our only permanent Cogate situ break situation. Macrophage, that doesn't matter that much. I think we'll run this, but I think they'll let us have it. Running R&D is also not good. Like, this deck isn't really good at single accesses. I think we can just take this. Source is really good. Uh, it'll slow down all their fast advance plans. And that's really good. This is a dead card, so I think we're just going to overdraw and throw it out. And Street Peddler is awesome. It represents probably two card draw, let alone uh, gives us, like, three cards to look at. And a credit when we pop it. So Jeeves is clicking up another card on R&D. They understand where the game is going to be. And with this, fast advance is not that big of an issue. Once we get a bit more steady, and I think we can possibly consider popping these tech traders. We are in a pretty good spot. We got a political operative. So I think we actually just want to... We can like blow up this Jackson immediately. Oh, this is going to be a spy camera, 100%. And there's no use keeping us a surprise here. So I think... I think we play the Mongoose, just run HQ. Just to get a free access, right? Because we used up all our MU. So the cool thing here is we, in theory, can use Political Operative and immediately trash Jackson. Because we, oh, can we pay the trash cost of res card, but we'll get money trashing this? No, we can't. So I guess we don't have anything you'd like to do. Maybe look goof the math. But in theory, we could put this down and pop this immediately if we had enough money. And they have to respect that. But I think we're short of credit. I'm not sure if you actually get the money right away or you don't on this guy. They know we also we can't break code gates. That sucks. We do have levy though, so we can levy madly into it. And like, what is this? Turn turn eight. We only have 14 cards left in our heap or stack. Like, that's awesome. 
And at any point in time where they overdraw, we can pop Jackson. At any point in time where they try and use the triple click on Jeeves, we can pop Jeeves. As long as we have enough money, which we don't. But that's a really big deal. Because it's so hard to fast advance with the source and with Paul Ops threatening Jeeves. Let alone just with the source, it's probably very difficult. So let's see. This is a really good matchup for uh, fast advance. I think we'll actually use one of our tech traders. Like, there's no reason to be greedy here. Assembly lines, fires. They're going to use it right away. That's good. Another on HQ. That's good. We can drop with this. We might want to keep one of these around just to keep the source around. We have another one. We also want to find our forgers so we can start putting down our crowbars because high strength code gates on remotes are a thing that HB does pretty well. Uh, looking at the top is probably pretty bad. Now nah, let's I think we can afford to just drop. That's good. It's more card cycling. That's good. That's more card cycling. There we go. That's the forger. So glad we didn't pop these because now we can install, install on a turn, pop one of these for what? 12 credits. Oh, 13 credits, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 12 credits and a card. And they're jacksoning up. So now, oh, we don't have two credits. So in theory, they don't have to respect this. Oh no, we do. Cause we could spy camera pop this. So they have to respect it. And they probably had to do it before because we had a spy camera, right? Because we can immediately spy camera, immediately pop the Jackson if they overdraw and throw out an agenda. <laughs> Scarcity resources. And we took the current out of this deck. We 100% did take the current out of this deck to play Mad Dash, um, which is hilarious because that's a big deal. We're running a lot of current. So I think we need to see what's on top of R&D. The only problem is that it'll, we have to actually access it and steal it so the source isn't going to be good. And they also have Jackson. That's an Ichi though. Oh, it's good we have all of these. We also have Inside Job, which is really good. So I think we need to get accesses. Yeah, we can draw one. Oh, we shouldn't have drawn once. No, we're fine. Oh, this costs two to install? I think we can afford it. Pretty confident we can afford it, but now nah, let's just get all these done. All right, and we're just so close to um, cycling through. If we see one more agenda, mind you, like we see one more agenda with our uh, spy cameras, and how many have we used? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, we can mad dash if we draw it, and immediately if we street peddler, we might get the mad dash stuck underneath it. But what we can do is like we can trash Paul up inside job this or we can't inside job a mad dash at the same time so maybe freedom is actually better in this deck because this current is an issue biotic labor vitruvius uh hold on hold on hold on hold on uh hold the phone wait a second can we now react to that no we should have taken money yeah because we don't have a tag to remove now they're gonna trash the source too they ever advance this? Could we not? No, we had to take this money because in theory then we could have... Wait, did they even use Jeeves? Yeah, the source is gone. Oh, and they fired it too. And they used Jackson right away. Oh, that's good for them. That's actually an issue, this one. Uh, so we goofed. We need to keep enough money to threaten Jeeves. Otherwise, they can't fast advance through it. That's fine. We'll install this for two. It's not that big of an issue. So Aaron, Mad Dash, the source. So the source is going to come out for for one credit. Uh, one credit plus two is three credits. Minus this. Yeah, we can afford this. So we'll take the money off of this guy. Oh, that's good. Mad Dash isn't going to come in through unless we same old thing it. I still think we'd rather use this. And we'll rather keep this down here as a surprise, right? Vanilla coming in and Raymond Flint. Expose. It's not bad because it's an immediate way to get money. Do we need any of these cards? Like in theory, we could like Aaron, Aaron, and then Levy. They also might be playing Arc Lockdown. We could run HQ. It's honestly not that terrible. There's not much they can res. Oh, but fuck, we played this. Now Cortex Lock actually matters. Piss. <laughs> That's funny. This actually matters. Because, yeah, we have two MU unused. Uh, now we're going to play this. Yeah, okay. Uh, that's rough. That's kind of clumsy. So hopefully they try and fast events out and then we get them with this thing. Arc Lockdown. 
Oh no, we shouldn't have, we shouldn't have levied. We're gonna take all our spy cameras out. All right, we're playing on hard mode now. Okay. Well, that's the reason why we stopped playing this deck, mind you, when it came out, we're like, oh, fuck my face in the way. We're like, oh shit, people are gonna play Arc Lockdown. It's gonna be really bad. And it is, because so much of our deck is just falling apart. I gotta be real small here. Okay, so this does one net damage. What is left here? Oh, we lost our Peacock. They should have collect on the Peacock, maybe. No real multi-axis. Don't want to break that. I think we inside job this. Yeah, it's rough. Yeah, let's inside job R&D. That's fine. Got a lot of scrolling to do. Let's see if they can res any of this stuff. No, they can't really. Quandry. Oh, piss. Yeah, whatever. We're going to cycle our deck. Biotic labor. Okay. That's good. I think now we'll just trash this. There's no reason not to. We have the money. I think this is not that bad. It's so bad setting up, but right now it's just like a little speed bump. Do we cycle this? I think Expose is actually worth having in this deck just because it's expensive probably to run remotes. And we can put this down and then next turn I think we'll install the same old thing, pop this levy. I think that sounds like a good turn. As long as we keep the money that we need to install this. So, same old thing. Take this 7... What was it? 17? 15? Levy and peacock and now we can go hq we may not have wanted to install that first click just because it lets us lets them know that we can now contest remotes or, or like code gates in general now hq is also easy to run they're tossing a lot of cards from archives we might want to check these out yeah this thing is annoying this thing really is oh fuck yeah yeah hmm well that's the thing is like with the mixture of raymond flint and same old thing into a mad dash if we pop out the source. As long as we have three credits to access, oh, uh, we might be in a good spot. There's also a ridiculous play unless we keep like our uh, we keep an uh, agenda on film critic and then we run into like a Fairchild trash or film critic. The agenda goes into archives and then we like same old thing mad dash into archives for three points. Like it's possible. I think running HQ here seems good. They just drew up a bunch. We don't run legwork. We don't run any multi-axis because it's pretty bad with Film Critic, but we want to turn out that current. It's getting a bit annoying. We luckily don't have to break this now. We used all our MU. That was a really fortunate draw. Biotic. Okay, well, we'll keep running here for single for one credit. Yeah, we can afford this. And even if they do raise a fair child, like, it's not an issue. Biotic, fuck. Man, losing these is huge. Like, we should have levied. We should have respected it. Another blue level clearance. Do we just run archives? It's probably not great. CBS, that's fine. Cyberdex Virus Suite, that's okay. What else did they throw out? Vanilla Macrophage. Cyberdex. I think. That's okay. They also got Aaron Draw. That's good. So, advance, advance. Oh, uh, yeah, we'll react. No, that's fine. Cool. No. Nah. Oh yeah, we should react now actually because it could be playing shipment from Sansan. San. So we'll play the source. Uh, we'll host the source on here to draw another card. And they can't cyberdex fire suite this, so we can always Raymond this, find out what it is, and then same old thing mad dash and probably win. And Raymond gives us three credits. So Raymond, expose what this is. It's accelerated beta test, so if we can get in, we win. Is there any ice we can't get through? No, we can get through nine strength everything. So I think we just mad dash it. Uh, is there anything we can pop on the way to make money? Yeah, breakers. Okay. So mad dash, server two. Expecting the mad dash underneath that, it's good. Like that was a good combination that we got it, and we just won the game. All right, pull it off. 
right? Because this is now worth three agenda points. Still three. Good game. Cool. I don't think we should have let that one go through. Thanks for the game. Uh, it's a cool card for sure. Just swapped it, it in for the current, and I think the current would have been better with that scarcity problem. Yeah, fucking arc lockdown, man. That's the bane of Geist and Max and all basically the decks I love playing, like Max and Geist. And I don't play a lot of them just because arc lockdown is a problem. It's also why I play one or two Max because it doesn't give a shit. Um, anyways, that's cool. I, it's a this is probably a bit of more of a one-sided matchup. Like they're not running that great ice. Thanks you too. Um, they're not running fantastic ice, and they're re relying all on fast advance and Jeeves. And we have good counters to both of those with political operative and the source. And normally they can deal with Cyberdex Virus Suite, and they have good recursion to bring this back over and over again. Uh, but you really can't deal with the source besides actually like dealing with the source, which is usually advancing agenda. And if we were a bit more like forward thinking and just took our money off of our street, our what's it called, our technical writers, and didn't get greedy, this agenda wouldn't have gone through. Um, and then they would just pile up an HQ, and then you just run HQ. This deck was good. It was a lot of fun. I played this a lot during the regional season last year. Uh, how it's changed so far in the like five minutes I took to update it, quote unquote, is I changed New Angel City Hall for Aaron Moran, which is pretty good. I switched Mad Dash for um, the other current uh, Freedom Through Equality. This is based off of a deck made by LSK, mind you. This wasn't my original deck list. Um, and can't say if these changes are good. I think Aaron Moran might just be strictly better. Actually, I don't know. I think New Angel City Hall might be better. Honestly, in this deck, because money isn't an issue, but it being able to dodge tags turn one is kind of a bigger thing. It also makes it easier to deal with tagging ice, because this deck isn't very good at dealing with a lot of ice, and New Angeles City Hall lets you deal with ice. And so I'm actually not convinced Aaron is better in this deck, because this deck doesn't care about card draw. Anywho, thanks so much for watching. These have been Geist games. Geist has generally been the most fun I've had on the runner side in a long time. Uh, and he's not that easy to play in the meta right now, just because like we can't deal with assets. We really can't. And our clock down's an issue, whether that's common in your meta, it's up for you to decide. But uh, thanks so much for watching. Stay tuned. Videos most weekday nights and a live stream Thursday at 8.45 Eastern. Thanks for dropping by. Ciao.